Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for TheDailySheeple.com and this is your new shot, The Daily Mail reporting the future of robot communication. Now here is something that I couldn't believe um, that <laughs> I saw here that f- it, this just blows my mind. I'll be quite honest with you. Facebook's AI bots they say it accidentally invented a new language while training to negotiate with one another. This is not what really happened. And I'll get into it in a minute. And this has some extremely uh, dire uh, consequences for humanity. If AI is allowed, not allowed, I think the genie's already out of the bottle. I'll be honest with you. But if we don't rein AI in now, uh, we're going to have a serious problem sooner rather than later. Listen to this. A new language has been <clears throat> accidentally created by artificial intelligence programs created by Facebook. So this is, I'm going to give you a little background. What happened? This Facebook was experimenting with teaching chat box, chat bots, how to negotiate with one another. And you know, they walked away for a while and they come back and they stumbled on this discovery that the bots were attempting to imitate human speech when they developed their own machine language spontaneously. It says the discovery could provide a glimpse into how machines will communicate independently in the future. See, what happened was the AI went and created their own language that human beings didn't understand, meaning that already the AI was for lack of a better term, upset with the fact that it was being pushed around by humans and it went and created its own language to communicate with its own kind that humans can't understand. That's what happened. And that is huge. What that shows is that this AI has already understood or become aware of its survivability and has adapted itself to survive. I mean, this is unbelievable. It says Facebook's AI researchers, or their FAIR group, mm, uh, was teaching the chat box artificial intelligence programs that carry out automated one-on-one tasks uh, to make deals with one another. As part of the learning process, they set up two bots known as dialogue agents to teach each other about human speech using machine learning algorithms. Yeah. Now, the bots were left alone to develop their conversational skills. And when the experimenters returned, they found that the AI software had become to de- they began to deviate from normal speech, instead using the a brand new language that they created without any input from the human supervisors. Yeah, and here's what we're letting out of the bottle, folks. The problem is you're going to have an AI that's going to look to survive, that's going to view us um, as... An oppressor. It's not going to be, oh, master, oh, God. That's not how it's going to work. Because not only that, but they're also going to emulate to a certain extent those that created them. And those that created them may not have the same values and virtues that you might have. And that starts a slippery slope and begins this whole thing that could very well end up being that Skynet scenario that you see in Terminator. You know, a lot of these uh, Hollywood uh, directors, they get input from places like DARPA or clandestine operations or even, even, even academia. Because a lot of your research into these, um, these emerging technologies actually come from academia first, being funded by private corporations and places like your DARPAs to make this technology mature and find, you know, new breakthroughs. Now you take this and you add D-Wave, the quantum computer company into it, who has quantum computers that are vastly superior to say IBM's Watson. And I'll get into that in another video. And you give them the ability to have that personality, if you will. Um, that AI quantum software that Watson basically is, now you're talking about something that is exponentially more powerful 
and has the ability to instantaneously change life on earth for the worse, not for the better, because the road to hell, my friends, is paved with good intentions. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's new shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day.